So here we are in Lightroom and I have this picture here and once you have your image in the library simply come over to the develop tab. So you can see uh, there's uh, five pimples here. Uh, it's going to be super simple to get rid of them and all we're going to be doing is coming over to the spot tool here. So you can see is this second one here next to the crop tool. The shortcut for it to bring it up is Q. You also have the ability to clone or heal. Now I will be going over both so you can see the difference. So with clone, what you would do is left click on one of the pimples and you'll see this other uh, circle pops up. Now what this circle is, it means you're going to be, well, it's a clone tool. So you're going to be copying that skin tone. For example, if I just pick the eye, you can see um, the major difference. So what you want to do is look for something close to the skin tone, which is supposed to be here instead of the pimple. So the best thing you could probably do is go as close as you can to it before actually going into that circle. So you can see it will look something like that. And you can also adjust the size of the circle you can see. So if it is big or if it is uh, smaller, then you can adjust the size like that and you can see that is how it will look. So that pimple has now gone and now I'll work with the next one which is right here. Just left click it and then you pick an area which is suitable. So I'm going to pick it right there and then the next one, again, super simple. Sometimes it does automatically pick and it does work out very nice. And then I'll pick another one here. And then of course the final one, this is close to the lip. So we can size this down once we get it. There we go. And then of course reposition that so it's right on it. Now we're not entirely done just yet. What I recommend you do is go back to the spots you have selected and then feather them. So you can see over to the side I already have it uh, set up. So I've put the feather, I've lowered the opacity. Some cases you might want that 100% if it is a very strong pimple. So feather it up and 100% if needed. Most of the time probably will be 100% but there you go. So just go over the spots like this and if there's a lot of spots and you won't remember which one you've done and which ones you need to do then I recommend doing this as you are doing the spot removal. So there you go, you can see the spots have been removed. Um, this is of course with the clone tool. Um, you can see that's how it works though and it does work. Now I'm going to be showing you the exact same thing but I'm going to be doing it with the um, healing tool. So we'll see the difference with how it works and then you can decide which one you use when it comes to actually removing acne. So what we're going to do is change to healing by selecting healing and then a simple spot over, spot over, 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 and of course over this as well. Now it's the same principle, it does pick uh, the skin tone, so you'd pick which one's similar or you can just go with what it already says. You do get control of the size, feather and opacity, just the same thing again. And let's see this now, you can see me personally, I do think the healing tool is a lot better for acne. With the clone tool, you can see a circle even with the feathering. So definitely healing tool is going to be the best for this. But of course it is personal preference and it depends what works for your image because every image will be different. Now, while we are on the uh, process of the photos anyway, I'll show you how to smoothen the image as well. So you do is come to detail. So it's the detail tab right here. And then you can see it says noise reduction and noise reduction will actually soften the image. So you can see it's actually softened all the lines around it and it's a very strong effect. So you can see it makes you look very fake. So don't go too high. Um, just make it look a bit realistic though, like this. You can still see a few of the lines, but it does look a lot softer. But that is how simple it is to remove spots in Lightroom. For those who don't have Lightroom and are wondering how to do this in Photoshop if you have that. I have covered that tutorial in the past, so a link to that will be in the description.